Hello, I'm Dr. Rob Young. I'm an organizational psychologist and a coach at a consultancy called Talent Space. And I'm going to talk to you about how you can influence and persuade more effectively. Perhaps the most important lesson to understand when you are trying to change someone's mind is that people are not entirely rational. We all have emotions and desires wired into our brains. For example, we all have great like and affection for certain people, brands, projects and causes. At the same time, we may dislike or even have great distaste for certain other people, brands, causes or projects. And often we may not be able to justify why this may be the case. So if you're trying to change someone's mind and you are relying purely on a logical or financial argument, you could be hampering yourself. And this is as true for one colleague as your boss or a room full of customers or clients. Now one device that you can use to inspire emotions in other people and hopefully change their minds is to tell them a story. So think about a situation that you have been in with real people that illustrates the point that you are trying to make. For example, when I'm working with salespeople, I often say to them, don't talk about all of the clients or customers that you work with. Talk about one individual, one client organization, or perhaps a specific small group of people that you worked with. Explain what you did with them and the result that they got. Because when you talk about detail, that's when you bring something to life. You make it much more concrete and memorable. Broadly speaking, there are two types of story that you can tell. There is either a success story where you can talk about what someone else did in order to succeed, or a warning story where you can talk about what other people did when they experienced a failure or a mistake. In terms of success, the idea is that in talking to one person over here, you might talk about another person who adopted an idea that you were proposing, or perhaps they had access to a product or a service that you provide. And then you talk about what they did that enabled them to achieve the success. And the point is that in hearing about this success story, someone may feel inspired and excited that they could experience this level of success too. Or there is a warning story that you can tell. So the idea here is that you talk about a mistake or a problem that someone else experienced, a failure, perhaps because they did not follow through on your idea or they did not have access to a product or service that you provide. And in this situation, you are hoping to inspire in someone a feeling of perhaps sadness that this should have happened to someone else or anger that this should have happened to someone else or perhaps even a sense of anxiety that they should want to avoid this fate for themselves. So in telling the story, the idea is to actually bring in details about what someone actually did. So really, when I was talking about salespeople, I shouldn't be talking about salespeople in general. I should be telling you a story about perhaps an individual that I worked with. For example, most recently I worked with someone who was a 30-something-year-old sales manager working in a travel agency who sold safari holidays to people who wanted to go to Kenya in particular. So if I were to tell you about what I did with this individual and the lessons that he learnt, then that should, in theory, be much more concrete and memorable to you. Or imagine that you have identified a problem in your business and you go to your boss with a proposal about how to fix it. Of course, you go with a written business case about what the logical argument is, but I also suggest that you go and talk to people in the business to find out what issues are facing them so that you can get their feelings and thoughts on the issue. That way, you can then report back to your boss about not only what the quantitative data says about this problem, but also what people are qualitatively saying. What, what are their thoughts and feelings? What are their stories about how this problem is affecting them? because that way you have a much more rounded, balanced case to make to your boss. So, in summary, remember that when you're trying to change people's minds, people are not entirely rational. 
And if you want to involve people's emotions, then either tell them a story about how someone else succeeded to inspire them to success, or warn them about how other people made a mistake or even failed.